Good afternoon, good afternoon guys. Greetings from sunny Seoul, South Korea. I am down to my last few hours here in Seoul. So what I've decided to do is do two of my favorite things. I'm going to a Korean jimjilbang, Korean sauna, which is just a fantastic way to relax. Hot tubs, saunas, steam rooms. It's gonna be such a nice way to relax just before I catch my flight home. Also, I plan to eat dolsat bibimbap, my favorite Korean food aside from Korean barbecue. And yeah, I'm just at Seoul Station at the moment and there is my favorite sauna. It's just a short walk from here. So I'm gonna show you how I get there and show you the sauna experience before we head off to the airport. When you arrive at Seoul Station, you just need to head to the Home Plus, the giant department store, grocery store, and you walk through it. You're gonna to wanna to walk through the food court area and once you've reached that, you just take the escalator down, exit the building, and you're basically right at the footsteps of the Shilom Sauna. So once you've reached outside of the building, you just need to head directly right, and you're gonna find a giant intersection. You cross that, and you just have to go up this tiny little hill, and you're right at Shilom Sauna. Guys, I'm so excited to be going back to the sauna. Actually, about three years ago, when Audrey and I were visiting Seoul, and we stayed here for a whole month, we stayed near Seoul Station, and we were within walking distance of the sauna. I kid you not, I probably came here five to six times a week, almost every day. And it's just the most relaxing thing for me to do here in Korea. I just love it, just kind of, it's therapeutic, just sweating and relaxing. It's just literally exactly what I'm gonna be doing with my final few hours here in Seoul. It's my favorite thing to do at the sauna is actually to go and grab a meal first. So I'm doing just that. It's an extensive menu, you can get jiggies, you can get john, other Korean foods. But my favorite thing to get by far is the stone pot mixed rice, which is called dolsat bibimbap. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. It comes with lots of banchan, and it's just a big portion. So it's gonna be like my last really big meal here in Korea, and I can't wait to have it. So what you do is you just walk up to the dining hall, which which is on the second floor. You place your order, you pay with cash, and then you get a little buzzer. And once it starts bu -bu -bu buzzing, that's when you know your food's ready. Oh, ho, ho, it's ready. It is ready. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that, guys. The dolsop bibimbap has arrived. Look at all the ingredients. Carrots, mushrooms, bean sprouts, radish. Oh my gosh, another kind of mushroom. Seaweed, greens, egg on top, and the gochujang red pepper paste sauce. I'm gonna let it cook for a bit so the rice burns on the bottom. And we also have the seaweed soup, which is called the miyokguk. It's uh, really tasty and served often on birthdays. Here is a tour of the banchan, various kinds of banchan. We got fish, pickled vegetables, and of course, kimchi. Mmm, the kimchi is so fresh and tasty. Super spicy. Let's try the fish cakes. These are a little bit sweet. Super sweet and oily dried fish. These are like jellies over here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it's hard to grab them with the chopsticks. All right, let's try the soup. Piping hot. So happy to be having seaweed. I love seaweed. <clears throat> this meal could go so well with the bibimbap. Now time for the start of the show. I'm gonna show you how I stir the bibimbap. So basically guys, you just get right in there, you break the egg, move it around. Oh yeah, I can tell that some of the rice has been burnt on the bottom. And you just stir like crazy until it's all mixed perfectly. You'll know it's mixed well when basically it looks uniform throughout. Mix, 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 mix. It's almost done now. Such a healthy meal too. So many vegetables. That's what I love about Korea. It's so easy to eat healthy here. Delicious food that's also really healthy for you too. Love that about Korea. All right, I think that is done. Oh. It's just as good as I remembered it being here. Honestly, one of the big perks of coming to the sauna is that they make excellent food, really, really good Korean food. So I'm really happy to be having this dulce bibimbap and for it to have maintained its standard. Nice and spicy, tons of different vegetables. It's so, so good. Lunch was absolutely fantastic. Even better than I remember, to be honest. That's probably the best bowl of dulsap bibimbap I've had on this entire trip. 
But anyways, guys, I kind of wanted to let you know about the entire experience here, like what it's like to come into the sauna, because there's certain parts obviously I can't film because there's naked areas and change rooms and whatnot. So what happens is you come into the entrance, you pay for your fee, you have the option of doing sauna only or Jim Jabong. If you do Jim Jabong, like what I'm doing, they give you a uniform, shorts, and a t-shirt, and that gives you access to the entire building. Not just the sauna area, but the second floor with the restaurant. There's more floors with movie rooms, special rooms. Like This is the biggest sauna I've ever been to. And so basically, I decided to pay 2,000 more, so 11,000 won instead of 9,000 won for access to, to these special features. And you could stay as long as you want, which is super cool. I mean, you could, a lot of people actually come here on the weekends to relax and maybe they'll spend like an entire afternoon. They might go to the sauna for an hour. Maybe then they have a lunch for an hour. They'll come and watch a movie. They'll work out at the gym. They'll take a sleep here. So I mean, there's various things that you can do at the gym Jobong, which makes it so, so cool. But for the time being, I'm just gonna show you a couple of different rooms and then I'm going to actually enjoy the sauna, the part which I actually can't show you. So basically, when you go to the sauna, you get naked, there's an area for just men and an area for just women, so it's completely separated. And yeah, that's the best part of coming to the Jim Jabong for sure. So I'm going into the ice room right now, being Canadian. I wonder how cold I'm gonna feel. Oh my gosh, that's so cold. Wow, look, pure ice. Ice on the walls, and it's got a blue, like, oh, here, here's the temperature. Look at that, minus six, wow. It's chilly in here, but you know what? It's so hot outside in Seoul that I'm actually enjoying this more. All right, guys, that concludes my tour of the Jim Jabong. Now it's time for me to take these off and head to the sauna, which I obviously cannot show you. So that was so incredibly refreshing. Oh, I feel like a million bucks after being in the sauna. It's just all the different hot tubs and sweating rooms and then basically jumping into the cold pool, which I call the polar plunge. It just reinvigorates. You feel a lot better than even if I have a nap by going to the sauna. That's how good I feel afterwards. Anyways, I need to head back to my apartment, gather my stuff, and start getting ready to head to the train station. I'm a little bit behind. Oh my gosh, I am running so behind, guys. So I'm gonna give you the world's fastest gorilla apartment tour here in Seoul, South Korea. I'm gonna flip the camera around and just show you the place. Okay guys, so there's a place to kick off our shoes. We had a nice shoe rack here, some umbrellas to use, and a vacuum cleaner, which came in quite handy. Directly to the right, we have the bathroom. It's a wet shower. Actually, I just took a shower. One more before I leave. And uh, yeah, hey, very standard Korean shower. You put on those shoes so you don't get wet. Shower sprays everywhere. Yeah, hanging out my towels. Okay, so this was our living room. Um, we had basically the couch over here. David and I drank wine there at night. We had a desk we didn't really utilize too much. Tiny kitchen. This is awesome. We could have done our wash our clothes if we had time. Um, basically everything you would need in a kitchen. Microwave, tiny fridge. Here's my room. It's all basically packed up. There's really nothing here. This is David's room. I'm not going to go and show too much. <laughs> Messy bed. David. Make your bed. Anyways, I'm late, so I need to get to Seoul Station as soon as possible. I'll have an update for you guys when I'm about to board the train for Incheon International Airport. So I finally made it to Seoul Station. Oh my gosh, what a zoo that place is. So basically I had to go underground to the metro area, pop up, go through the whole train station, right to the very end, and then underground a bunch of escalators. So guys, if you're coming to Seoul Station and you're taking the train to the airport, keep in mind that it takes quite a while to get through all of that, like probably 15, 20 minutes to get down to the platform. And I use my T Money card and it's only gonna cost me about 4,000 won to get there. And I believe the journey is going to be just over an hour. So I'm waiting right now at 2.35 and I'm hoping to get there sometime before 3 if the train arrives soon. Arrived at the airport. 
Oh man, that was such a quick ride. Only 60 minutes. And guys, if you want to take an even faster train, the express train just takes 40 minutes. Uh, I believe the price is 9,000 won. You don't stop at as many stations, the train travels faster, and you get assigned seats. Whereas the train I took, it's just general seating, it's just basically like any other metro. So guys, I got my boarding pass, that was an absolute breeze, not much of a lineup. But the only other thing I want to see if I can do is exchange these T-Money cards. My transportation card basically has some money on it, and I want to see if I can get a refund or not. So hopefully, they told me to come down to the first level and just go to any convenience store. I should be able to get a refund, but I guess I'll find out in a few minutes. So a quick update about the T-Money cards, I ended up going to the information desk and they told me that I can go to a convenience store and get a refund but I checked the convenience store and there's like an insane line and you know what guys I know for sure I'm gonna be back in Korea so I'm just gonna hang on to these it'll be really handy oh and I should mention that this one from 2014 had some credit left on it so when I arrived I was still able to use it it never expires so it's actually worth holding on to them if you think you're gonna be back in Korea well guys if check-in was a breeze immigration was even easier Incheon International Airport is one of my favorite in the world so clean modern and efficient so easy to get through that process of check-in and immigration so right now I have about an hour and a half to kill I have a little bit of one left over and so I'm thinking of grabbing a few presents for Audrey and her family. Oh well, yeah, I'm just gonna wander around and see what kind of souvenirs or chocolate or whatever I can find. And uh, yeah, spend all my won. This is a really cool store. You can buy traditional Korean handicrafts and other souvenirs. And it's kind of high-end stuff. It's not like cheap souvenirs. For example, you have tables that start at 800,000 won, which is about $700. And you also have dining sets for 330,000 won, about $300, chopsticks. All kinds of things here. So the first souvenir is a tegoki. These are magnetic coasters. Oh, this is fascinating. So the Korean flag is called the tegoki. It symbolizes the ultimate origin of the universe and depicts the rise of yin and yang. It sure is busy at the airport. Check out the crowds, guys. Lots and lots of people here waiting for their flights. And I think I see a robot up ahead. Yep, it is a robot. This store looks kind of interesting. It specializes in Korean red ginseng. That Korean chicken looks so good, so tempting. But I know if I ate that right before a flight, I'd regret it for sure. So I just blew all my one. I grabbed two more magnets, one for Audrey's parents and one for mine. Guys, it's so hard to believe that my trip is almost over. I mean, these two weeks absolutely flew by. I mean, the first week that I had with the group was a lot of fun. Uh, my favorite experience by far was a temple stay. I have wanted to do a temple stay for years and to finally have the opportunity to do it. I mean, it even exceeded my expectations. Just the experience of all the bowing, eating the temple food, and just being able to sleep overnight was, uh, was really incredible and something I'll never forget. And with David, I loved our time in Busan and in Daegu. I mean, Daegu was probably the friendliest place that we visited in Korea. Just so many friendly locals. And then in Busan, we had the chance to watch a baseball game and also go to the fish market. So I'm flying back home with Air Canada today. And the interesting thing is it's gonna be 30 minutes shorter than the flight coming here, but still over 13 hours. So a very, very long flight, mega flight. Hopefully I can sleep for most of it. I am feeling tired already, but I have a feeling I'll be watching a lot of movies as well. Oh guys, it's nice to be back in Canada. Back to back, amazing flights. Basically zero turbulence going there, zero turbulence going back. The big difference though, is that I was able to sleep a lot more on this particular flight. I slept about half the time, had a couple meals, and watched The Godfather part one and two. That's like, it doesn't get better than that on a long haul flight. Just gotta grab my bag, and then it's time to meet Audrey and Togo. And look who it is. It's the wifey. Did you miss me? Hello. Yes, of course I missed you. <laughs> 
Just kidding. Did you enjoy our stories? That's what you've seen so far that David posted. Yeah, so Sam is really bad at sending like updates, yeah. emails, Facebook messages. That's what David's in for. General. So uh, I was watching David's stories. Yeah. That's how I know what, Sam's alive. What what looked most interesting? The food. The food was Everything amazing. Everything you guys were eating. Yeah, and it's nice to see you again. Hi. I miss you. And let's go let's go let's go say hi to Togi. Let's go. I wonder if he'll remember me. Togo! Hey! 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 Hey!